So network access control, kind of another hot topic. And we kind of equate it to this, right? So network access control is, is exactly what it is. It's, it's managing um, or taking control of who's accessing your network. Kind of think of it the same way, right? You wouldn't let anybody into your front door, right? You wouldn't let anybody into your house. So why would you let anybody onto your network? We kind of think of it uh, similarly, right? So. Um, what network access control gives us is it gives us a way to proactively monitor who is on our network, who we allow access to our network, and if there are people uh, that do obtain access to our network, it gives us the ability to um, reactively uh, do something or remediate that. Uh, when when uh, someone joins our network, uh, we can basically put them into a quarantine. Uh, and once they're in that quarantine, we can either say, hey, look, you can have access to the internet, uh, but you're not gonna have access to our um, uh, local resources, so our, our corporate network. Or what we can do is we can put them into a core of team VLAN that says, look, you don't have any access to anything until you go through these remediation steps. It really gives us a lot of uh, options as far as what we want to do uh, with someone once they uh, connect to our network. Uh, those remediation steps may be uh, ensuring that they have uh, the latest version of antivirus or that they don't have particular software installed or that they meet a um, operating system requirement. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility in there and what we can do. And all of this is to ensure that uh, we know exactly what is connecting to our networks at all times. So network access control isn't for everybody, uh, but it certainly is for larger organizations who have a lot of um, uh, what we consider you know, guests on the network. So if you, uh, companies that, that uh, um, welcome a lot of vendors, guests, or um, workers who are in and out, who are not necessarily part of a corporate um, infrastructure, uh, the network access control really comes into play and allows us to um, get a better, um, build better controls around um, ensuring that the integrity of the network and who's on the network uh, is intact.